What do you guys want to just go right into into Diablo? Yeah, might as well. Cool. Let me transition over. Alrighty, so um, I, I don't know who wants to go. I'm I'm very curious about. I think Gamer. He he's the one that uh, this was his big game for the year, other than what Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. Um. I didn't even check. What's the Metacritic like on this? 25. Have we paid attention? Oh, I haven't updated the Metacritic on it. I think it... Uh, I don't remember. I think I updated it on the thing. Unless I was wrong. I'll Do check me... away you guys are chatting. Do me a favor, gamer. Yeah. Hit your volume up one more beat. On your end. Just like a... Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hooray. Maybe one hip, more. Hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Okay. Try that. We'll, we'll try yeah. that. Just leave, leave it right there. Yeah. So uh, Metacritic score, so you had an 86 for the PC version. Mm -hmm. User score is 5.1. Um, well, I haven't been paying attention about any backlash. Ooh, that's not good. What is, if, if it, I'm assuming it's got to be, because I haven't even noticed any, like, microtransaction stuff other than, like, the horses. I think... I think the only thing that I'm I've been reading about is that the uh, the developers keep nerfing characters. Nerfing characters already? For my, I, they keep they keep like I guess they're doing like adjustments. Hmm. And whenever there's an update, there's always an adjustment to one of the classes or a bunch of the classes, and they're taking away things. And it's like, oh, what are you guys doing? And I think there's a big lash out, backlash on that. Uh, hmm. my part of, I'm trying to scan through quickly some of these user reviews. They're kind of all over the place. Like I think different people just don't like some of the directions, some of the gameplay mechanics went. And I mean, I well, I can talk more about it too. There are some things I'm not a huge fan of. I don't know if I would have uh, just, like blasted the game like some of these guys did with zeros and ones and twos. But it just oh, seems like geez. people didn't get the game they were expecting. But I don't know. Well, I mean, the general uh, Metacritic three. score. I think a lot of them were. Um, for better or for worse, and in many ways, you know, there's a lot of similarity between three and four. There's changes, of course, too. But um, either way, I mean, the overall Metacritic score, at least critically, is 86. So it's sitting pretty, pretty solid. But users are dipping. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, gamer, what's your kind of take on it? Since I know this was kind of your, your one of your big games for the year, and you probably spent the most time on it than definitely I have. I don't know about Chaz. Well, actually, me and him, I think really? we mentioned we're both at like the same exact level. I mean, maybe he's done mm -hmm. more. Um, exploring. I mean, I haven't oh. done too much. Yeah, I mean, I've done a little bit in the first, like, when when the uh, pre-order opened up. So, uh, you know, the early access. So I got to, like, level 25, I, th I, I think. And it's not much, apparently. So I think uh, my wife's, like, level 30 right now. <laughs> well, you can and get to 100, actually... can't you? Isn't that, like, the max? I, I think so. And, um, yeah, she's playing it right now, actually. And, um, so far, I mean, there are a lot of major differences between this one. I mean, if you've already played the beta, you kind of get kind of the gist of it. They didn't really change much from the beta, um, except for, like, access to, like, certain areas where now you can hit, like, I don't know, one of the strongholds that are, like, level, like, I don't know, I think 50 or some crap like that. Um... The tree is definitely something you have to like really feel out. I, I don't know how many times I had to respec my guy in order to get something that works because mm -hmm. I got my ass handed to me consistently. Yeah, that's um, one thing. Um, I only like played a little bit, but you almost have to really look at the whole tree before you go any mm -hmm. direction. And it's hard because, like, you don't have a good feel for what some of the abilities are going to be early on. And they don't all play exactly the same way as they did in 3. So knowing which direction to take your character is odd. And 3 went, like, super flexible. Like, they made updates after a certain point. We could change your skill tree, you know, at the drop of a hat. This game really, I don't want to say punishes you, but really wants to kind of lock you in. I mean, to, like, a, a role play, which, you know, makes sense. But they want to kind of lock you into this is how this character is going to play. And changing that is, is kind of rough. I think it's hard for, like, especially a first run because, I don't know, you don't feel like you get the character maybe you wanted out of it, at least from a skills standpoint. I haven't. What, um... I can say that, I mean, early on, 25, it's like, 
I don't know. Like I tried using. I'm I'm rogue, by the way. So I'm, I was just I'm gonna say, well, what's your classes? <laughs> Sorcerer. Yeah, I'm a. Yeah, I was gonna do sorcerer, and I decided to do something different this time. Usually, I'm always some sort of wizard. Like the last one, I was wizard, and I freaking went to town on that one. It was super. Fun. I went to. I went full um, full on goth. I'm necro necromancer. Mm. Yeah, my wife's from necro too. Necro, <laughs> necro, necro. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> you get all portal so, <laughs> I thought yeah, about right. druid, and uh, I was just like, eh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. Maybe I'll play it if I feel like it, but right now it's just kind of like it's it's not hitting the same way as I was hoping, and I'm not, I wasn't I didn't have I didn't have any expectations for it to be like Diablo yeah, three because I wanted it to be a new game obviously. Uh, story's cool enough so far. I think I still need to play some more. Can I make an admission? But, um, I got. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, what's up? I was gonna say when it comes to Diablo games, I'll be honest. I don't pay a, a lick of attention to the story. Like I don't, I don't even know what's going on in this game. Like I'm just, I just like to run around and mash all the abilities. I don't know. That's just me. I feel like this game's trying to take a larger attempt at having a stronger narrative. Like three had one, but it was pretty light too. Like it was serviceable enough. There wasn't anything crazy going on, so you could just kind of, you know blindly kind of play through the game and not think about it Two had to think a little more as far as like the lore was considered but i feel like this time they're really trying to double down on some of the narrative stuff more cinematics um a lot more like um discussions with side characters like there's a lot more mm -hmm. content there from a narrative standpoint which is good if you want to dig into it i at least early on found it to be almost a little much like i was kind of getting tired of hearing everybody talk about certain things so i just want to get into the game but is well, yeah. I, I guess maybe you guys aren't the right. We're not all too terribly deep into the game, but I'll be honest. So far, I don't really feel the progression tree. Really, I mean, at least I don't. I don't feel it mattering all that much. Whenever I make a choice, like I'll make a choice and I expect something crazy, and it's like, it's like, oh, rather than one spear, now you get two spears. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I, I just have weird expectations. Well, one I mean, thing about I just this game... you just you could just respect at any time. Yeah, it's like I think okay, one thing about the pretty, game though. Um, I'm sorry, uh, I cut you off. Go ahead. You were saying about the respecting. Oh no, I was just saying you just respect and just try different things. That's all you can really do. Yeah, I think one thing I've noticed, and as I'm not real far into it, maybe it will change, but I don't feel like my character really gets stronger. Um, I think because the way this game works, well, all the like... enemies level with you. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, it's an open mm -hmm. world. They've changed the way it's structured. So, like, you can't get to a point where you were just, like, overpowered. Which, I mean, is probably nice from a balancing standpoint. But I don't know about you guys. But one thing I loved about Diablo 3, especially, is you kind of get that power you get fantasy. The laser. Right? Like, you get the laser. Oh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. you're just demolishing stuff. Um, and you could always choose to ramp it up if you wanted to go to whatever you know nightmare or whatever mode after that point. But you could, if you wanted to, just be all powerful and just blast everything in your way. I don't know if this game's ever going to let you do that, um, just because of the way everybody ranks up alongside of you. And I don't know if I like that feel. I mean, it's a very well, different feel. For well, that the game. has to be my guess as to why that is, is because they have because they've added like. You know they've made it more multiplayer centric mm -hmm. so i'm assuming with yeah. these raids and these big like public events it is unfair if someone rolls in and can just demolish the event immediately and everyone else is like you know what i mean i guess it has to be when, yeah no anyway. i'm sure it's a balancing issue they wanted it to yeah so you couldn't you know steamroll brand new content or whatever it may be um not that it should really matter for this game as much um I haven't got to, is there PvP in this game or anything? I think most of it's PvE stuff, right? And, like, the P the multiplayer stuff is cooperative more than anything else. So, I don't really feel like being overpowered should be too much of an issue. Like, I guess it could ruin somebody's fun if you randomly hop into, you know, an open raid or something, but I don't know. I, I like power fantasies in most games. That's why I play a lot of games. Um, there are games, certainly, I want a consistent challenge all the way through, but... I'm used to Diablo just being that game where I can just max out my skills, get all the crazy powers. You just want to melt stuff. Everything in my way. Yeah. At least at a certain point. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm really early. I don't even know what level I am. I doubt I'm anywhere close to even you guys. So maybe as you get to a certain point, you unlock that perfect combo of skills where you get that feeling back. 
I'm just not sure yet, and that's a little bit of a put off um, for me, at least right now. I just, I just thought about it, but not to totally drive us off track. But I just thought about the user score aspect. We were just talking about how that's much considerably lower than the critic. Mm-hmm. That could be because I think one of the talking main talking points around this game right now is the fact that I think some people who are playing the hardcore mode they're having their like characters get wiped out like without them oh you get perma killed perma killed um without them like actually playing i've heard like some things about people being in Hmm. loading screens and i i I don't know too much about the specifics so but maybe you you know what i mean all those people that are all those people putting those scores all those people putting those scores may not be going through that but they read the headlines you know what i mean people are yeah yeah i seriously doubt all those people are having that same issue but I mean, I'd be pretty pissed off too if my freaking character perma killed and I didn't even play yet, or uh, I didn't play at all like, that day or something. Yeah, I mean, you put hours into this. Thing. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys: How do you like the art style change opposed from three? Because three was very super saturated, not quite cartoony, but brighter, more colorful, elaborate in a lot of ways. And this is very dark in tone, more muted, more somber, like. Do you like the shift in art direction? I, I like, know that was what people were wanting. I like where it's at. I think it's a pretty game. I I don't really have a problem with it. I, I mean, metal? I didn't play a ton I of th- th- three, um, so I guess I, I'm not maybe the best one. I like the three style a lot more. I think I like the brighterness to it, but yeah. it's a it's almost like the contrast of like Mortal Kombat nine to Mortal Kombat ten. You know, like mm, that's a good. That's you play, a good. You play yeah. nine. Yeah, you play nine, and it's really bright, very gory, boo, super bloody, and it's like you know, in your face. And then you mm-hmm. play ten; it's not even close to that. Yeah, and it's like, what happened? Why is it so dark? Like, why do I have to bring my brightness so high in order to see anything? It's like, yeah. it's, 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 it's okay, but I really enjoyed the last one. And I, I think that's where I'm with you. I, don't know. I, I get why they did. I mean, I think the art direction meets the tone that they're going for better, and part of the narrative they want it to be a little more serious, a little more darker. And I know people wanted that gore. I mean, you are you know fighting the you know armies of hell, so a dark um, kind of art. Direction I mean, makes another. Sense, but... I was just saying another good analogy would be like uh, I haven't played this one yet, but I think from what I can tell, I mean, that's like from the jump from Skyward Sword to um twilight princess like isn't twilight princess much it's got a very different like art style and it's a little more darker in terms of the colors at least from what i've seen from gameplay and stuff yeah i mean i think i mean it's a different kind of comparison there like zelda games are like so much their own entity typically Mm. when one comes out i think them trying a different art style with each one doesn't really affect i don't know at least my feelings on like how it would translate over into like a future sequel or something like uh, maybe because like uh, it, I, mean, I get where you're going for here diablo just feels a little different uh only because i i don't know i want to carry that experience from three over it is also like somehow, one singular one world bit. so yeah. canonically maybe it's, it doesn't feel like zelda has like timelines and different universes so it could make sense that things look different maybe well, so here's where I'm going with uh, on the whole thing. One of the reasons I like three is not I mean one. I just I like the brighter aspect of it. It's so much easier to read on the screen. Like mm-hmm. I can tell where people are at a lot better. I know there's some accessibility things that could turn on the game to like highlight characters and whatnot, but just by default, like I have a harder time noticing what's going on on the screen with everything being so dark and muted and dim. Like I miss the flashy powers flashing in certain places. It made it easier to tell where certain enemies were coming from because they were glowing blue and stuff like that not saying that we won't get any of that in this game but it's a little harder to read it definitely feels a little less exciting like i don't get the same like dopamine i mean kind of hits going off when you know all the crazy lights and everything are flashing and maybe that's just my you know puny brain wanting to see more flashy lights but i don't know i don't dislike the art style i can appreciate it it can be a pretty game but i'm leaning right now at least early on i kind of prefer three i don't know i like three um, I guess real quick, sorry, just to throw it in. Um, oops. I did want to just kind of throw this in that, uh, where's the article? Um, I did see this, but Diablo is now, I think they said it's in five days. It's the all time record for Activision Blizzard. 66 million. Yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> um, which I oh, believe no. they said it beat out, I think 
World of Warcraft or something like that. Some big game. Wow. Yeah. That's so dumb. What? Oh my God. It looks like such a joke to me. Like, yeah, uh, they they chose that way. number. It's probably, you know, way beyond oh, that. Oh, it's number probably way beyond that. And they just said, oh, that looks so funny. dumb yeah. on a tagline. Yeah. yeah. Sure. That doesn't surprise me. Like, I think this is where, if you look at, like, you know, yeah, you critic score here. versus user scores, I mean, obviously, this is a solid game. Like, every review I've read about, even the little bit of time I have played with it, it feels like a very well put together game. Like, I don't doubt that it's a solid game that's going to sell well and a lot of people are going to enjoy it. But, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it the same way I felt three. Like three, and I'm not even the biggest Diablo guy, but I got into three pretty heavily for a hot minute. I know me and uh, Metal would play quite a bit. Um, my wife, I mean, psh, nonstop. My wife isn't even like real big into this one, really? um, which is super surprising because this is like mm. her game. She hasn't played many games. It's like Animal Crossing or this. <laughs> so the fact that she's not just like going all in on this one, like I don't know. That's a telltale sign, at least for me. Um, how do you guys feel about like the open world direction? Have you gotten to a point where that's made a big impact for you yet? I, mean, I don't know if it really has for me yet, but I think one of the weird things, I guess, in terms of like the open world, uh, something they added in was this like uh, they added ver verticality with like jumping and climbing. Kind of, mm -hmm. I don't feel like that adds yeah. darn near anything to the experience so far. Like, yeah, it's kind of seems more of like a like a um, like a chore, not a chore, but just like. Uh, I what's don't, the point? What's the point? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, I, I feel you on that one. I feel like pressing spacebar just to kind of like jump across. It's like, oh, that's cool. I guess. Just makes my. But for what? Just makes my thumb work a little more. You know. <laughs> <laughs> on the keyboard. <laughs> I feel oh, like yeah. I've had to do a little more backtracking than I used to in like three or like I've had to go back and forth between hubs back out back to a hub city to you know catch little side quests that I feel like in three like you kind of just picked them up along the way and did them as you went like the journey felt a little more cohesive like because maybe, and to, to be fair I mean I'm getting off of Breath of the Wild not Breath of the Wild uh, Tears of the Kingdom so I might just be a little open worlded out after spending a hundred hours on that but I'm not really wanting to go explore all these expansive areas just to find a weird side quest and come back. I mean, that's just me right now, so I'm probably looking at it through the wrong lenses, but for me, at least at the early moments, the open world isn't quite working for me. I kind of miss the, not quite linearity of 3, but I don't know, the more straightforward approach. Um, and I kind of miss the idea that these um, worlds aren't randomly generated. Like, that was the big thing about 3, right? You could go, the map would load, and you every run of a campaign you did was completely different. Because, well, yeah, every time I load into the map, it's already unshaded, and I can just teleport yeah, anywhere I want to go. There is one Diablo 4 map. I mean, I think dungeons can be a little more procedural, but the map itself is the map. Mm -hmm. And that's true for everybody playing the game. And it takes a little bit of, uh, I don't know, kind of spontaneous, I'm going to go over here and see how the map is shifted kind of feeling that three gave you so i don't know so i'm so early i almost feel bad even giving a big opinion right now i played for like sub 10 hours probably so not enough i think for a game like this to have a strong strong opinion but it's not hooking me like i was hoping it would fair enough maybe i'll maybe we can revisit this uh conversation when we get a little bit more deeper i, also I mean with, the, with with zelda being like right there it's like it doesn't help. It really does. I was yeah. just going to say the time frame of this game's release is very unfortunate. Awful. In between Zelda and Final Fantasy 16, it's just like. Uh, that's how yeah, I'm like I am fatigued already yeah. playing Zelda going to a big game like this. Uh, I That's one reason I don't even want to get into this because I'm trying to think, well, am I going to get into Final Fantasy when it comes out? Or am I going to just wait to skip both of those? Like, there's some big games right now to really suck up your time and. I don't know. I only have so much I can invest. But luckily, Zelda's wrapped up, so maybe I'll I'll try. Fair enough. Uh, well, shoot. What else do we have to say? I'm just trying to think of anything else. Um, what do you guys think about the Lilith character in general? That you, have you gotten to see much of her in the cutscenes and something? Uh, she's menacing. She's interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting character. I mean, Diablo is just as gnarly. What I liked was, um, as you go into a little bit more deeper, um, you get to kind of, you, you get, you get like the Kanai's cube quite early in the game. I, mm -hmm. I, I hate to call it Kanai's cube. It's not called Kanai's cube. 
but they have the transmuting. Right. So you could you could use you know that, which is pretty neat, and um, seeing the character running around in the world, it's like I don't know. This is. I, I I don't know. I kind of miss three in a, in a way. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I do find kind of interesting about, about Lilith, yeah. at least from what I've seen from her. Like the, all the villains in Diablo three and beyond, always came across as we are super evil because you know they are primal. They're evils. demons. Lilith, although is huh? They're demons. Yeah, the demons. And although yeah. Lilith is clearly like she's still evil. Like she's almost has more of a Thanos quality to her, where she's like trying to justify what she's doing a little more. She's a little more like doing it for the people even though it's not really kind of thing so it's an interesting take on her i mean maybe that will shift and change she seems a little more nuanced than say diablo did like diablo was just diablo so um, um. <laughs> i'm curious and I, i'm not far enough yet um how they're gonna break it up as far as like many like world bosses that you kind of build towards like skeleton king moving into was it um uh oh who what was um the butcher the, the butcher is always there no um no no uh, ball bal was that oh was Asmod- 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 oh ball. not asmodan as was it um, asmodan is one of them yeah oh you're not the big fan i'm thinking yeah. never mind um either way like you know you have all those big kind of world bosses i haven't gotten far enough to really see like yeah. the forms those are going to take on but no yeah. i'm sure they'll have something you know now that i'm now that i'm thinking about it real quick um, there is one thing that's been very disappointing in my end, and um, it's the uh, thankless rewards for going through the the dungeons. Mm. They're super thankless. I'm just saying, like, you beat something and you get absolutely nothing from it. And at least in the in three, you get like, you know, a treasure chest, and it opens up, and it's like, yeah, loot. No, this one's like, you just beat this big grand mini boss thing for this area and you mm-hmm. probably died like five times six times you and you don't get anything really from That's you get absolutely <laughs> nothing you get absolutely nothing I, I i call it thankless dungeons hmm. you know like because you're walking through you're doing all this stuff and you're i don't know maybe maybe i'm still too early but i i've i've gotten you know, I like to get rewarded for going yeah. through some of these areas. And if you're going into some dumb area that, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with the story, you just kind of walk in there and you fight this like massive junk boss and you get, you know, you get your ass reamed and then you're trying to like, you know, beat him. You finally beat him and then it's like, great. Congratulations. You've won. And, mm. and then that's it. It's like, what is this nonsense? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I got a couple of levels. Don't get me wrong, but it's like I I, I play for the the looting. You know, you go into these places and you loot. Now, the yeah. one thing that they did do is that they were very generous with globes. They're super generous with health globes, something that they were not generous about in number in three. Mm-hmm. So, you know, at least at least that. But I don't know. I like rewards. Yeah, it I seems like we're also kind of little waiting little on this game to have that hook, whether it be like a loot hook or like a story hook or something. Like, I don't know. At least for me, like it hasn't had that moment where it's kind of like, yeah, I want to keep going to get this thing. The hook is Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that's when the hook. The, the hook is beating Ganon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not well, to be mean to, be to fair, Diablo, yeah. but. I say, I, I say, I feel bad because I have not played this game enough to maybe the hook is right around the corner. But it sounds like at least from where you guys are at, you guys haven't even found like that drawing kind of force to pull. To you be fair, this is an it. online um, game, so it's like the lifespan of this game. You know, people are gonna be playing this forever, so I think you can probably play oh, this sure, anytime. But, but that doesn't change the fact that like, okay, yeah, you can play this game forever. But I need a reason to keep playing it forever. Um, yeah, like of course. three was at least initially, you want to you know level up and get certain loot, and then after a certain point, it was oh I want to do a certain challenge or be complete certain things in the compendium or whatever it was like. It gave you those things, and this game probably has a lot of that. Maybe I just haven't gotten to the point to open it up. This is a very dense game. I think it's part of it. Like it has so many systems kind of already there that I, I initially was a little overwhelmed with some of it. And the little bit I was grasping onto wasn't quite hooking me. So maybe that's just my issue is 
I haven't quite dug into those extraneous systems and kind of, you know, other achievements I can work towards, and the current skill-based stuff I'm working on just isn't quite catching my fancy, but we'll see. More time, I suppose, is the answer yeah. for most of us. Uh, I think so. I guess the last thing I wanted to kind of touch on is, uh, just to, real quick, uh, there was one fun, funny side quest that I really enjoyed. It was really short, but um, there's this lady whose husband ran oh. up, ran out of town to f to follow some other lady or something and yeah. oh you just go on like a really short quest where you just go look for the husband and when you find him <laughs> the, the lady in he's in chains and his like de-skinned and, and he's just he's like, like in like BDSM form he's in like, like BDSM he's like, and he's like, like oh. more more and it's and the lady ends up being a succubus <laughs> She ends up being a succubus, yeah. and, and, and she's like, well, I've given your husband pleasures of beyond imagination, and he wants yeah. more. And, and it's just like, yeah. it's just so weird, because the, the, the lady fights her husband, and he's just like, yes, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's great. <laughs> the thing about that is that you beat, you beat the succubus, right? You beat the succubus, and then mm -hmm. you go back, and then the wife is like, oh. And he's just like, I, I need some time to. Yeah, think. she's just, just like, I need just to leave him just leave my husband. I, I need to go. Pull the sword, pull the sword out of him, pull the sword out of him, and call it a day. It's yours. That that's your reward for that. Jeez, so no. that's probably the one the one thing yeah. so far in the game where I'm like, like okay, that was funny. Yeah. To be fair, actually, I'm kind of glad you mentioned that. I feel like this game so far has lacked a lot of humor. Um, like to hear that there's a side quest like that that has a bit of a humorous spin on it is kind of nice to hear because it shouldn't the first be few hours are <laughs> well okay but you know what I mean like <laughs> but there's like a dark humor mm -hmm. just stuff like that I mean maybe we're just reading that a little oddly but three had a lot of humor to it like you had um oh I'm not gonna remember his name but the one companion you, you can get like the roguey kind of haha -ha kind of guy um oh, what was oh, his yeah. name. Uh, well, either way, you had a bunch of those kind of characters and moments that you know you could get a chuckle out of. I haven't gotten many chuckles out of this game. I I just thought about it that 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 quest I just thought of is that was pulled straight out of an Aqua Teen episode. What was the episode where Carl kept going after this lady, <laughs> and she did the same yeah, thing? Yeah, the ghost. The ghost, and she did the same thing. She just yeah. like that's. I just thought about it. that's from an Aqua Teen episode. Uh, that probably is. That probably is. Funny. I don't know. I, I want to play it some more because I do enjoy Diablo anyway. But as I continue playing it, I'm sure my opinion will change. Yeah, I just hope, well, I hope. I hope to see more. That's. I hope. Well, we'll have a part two of this conversation. I've all had a little more time to dig our teeth into it. Some. I probably not. I'm gonna try. Like I said, I'm gonna focus on Zelda. <laughs> probably until the next episode. He's already bailing. He's like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, I don't need it. And then we go Final Fantasy 16. Oh, no. Oh, man, that's going to be another big game. Oh, you, did you see Did you see the amount of advertisement that game is getting? Oh, my God. Well, they just God. put out that um, that demo, and people are just raving about it right now. So I'll tell you, I really want to play it. I know I'm getting way off track here, but I'm going to have to force myself to wait. Like, if I want to get anything done in my life, I'm going to have to push some of these games to the side because these are yeah. big games to be releasing all at once like typically you get to get like a bunch of games come out they're relatively short experiences oh, yeah. like, play this one for 10 hours 15 20 zelda 100 x amount of hours diablo could be forever hundreds final <laughs> fantasy is going to be at least 50 60 hours probably more than that so this um oh man this reminds me of like october like have you seen october it's like that it's whole week from the up. from the twentieth from the tenth to the twentieth. You have like there's a new Assassin's Creed game. Alan Wake is like three days before Spider Man, oh. and then Spider. It's like it's like dude, I'd rather I'm, have something like that though, because all those games are different, not at least. small, but well, it's not about different. Like okay, so Spider Man is going to be a twenty to thirty hour game, probably max. Alan okay? Wake's probably the Alan same. Alan Wake, I can't imagine fifteen yeah. hours. So yeah. like. You could probably knock out a lot of those within a couple of weeks if you really wanted to. Like these three games, Zelda, Diablo, Final Fantasy. 100 hour like, experience. For most people, yeah. that's a year's worth of game. Um, mm -hmm. Probably more than that. So, uh, Which is still awesome. In fact, we're seeing some really big quality games come out. We had been on a drought for a long time. Like the past year or so, it was really tough. I think waiting for a couple, like at least for me, the games I really wanted to play. Like seeing some cool stuff come out, find that I'm interested in. It's a good feeling, so. 
good time to be a gamer.